everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. Um, I've got these, um, what, well, are very Christmassy um, gift box or gift bag here to show you. Um, I'm making this video um, just before Christmas, although you're now watching it in January, um, because I was originally going to do this as a Christmas tutorial, and then I thought, actually, this is a really cool, different kind of shape to show in the new year. So I've grabbed these from under the tree just to show you, and I'm calling it my winged triangle gift box because it's literally a triangle gift box but I've kept two of the um, the sides um, exposed looking like wings and it's just really unusual I thought it looked really nice as a bag so this one is a gift bag and then I've done a tiny one dinky 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 one here if I can just get there we go isn't that just adorable um, and inside these if I just open this one up here you will see and it basically, as you open it and you pull the sides out, it bends on the base, creating this kind of little shape. And it's just got some chocolate coins in it, so these are just kind of dotted around um, the house for people to enjoy. Um, that one is from two pieces of 4x4. Four four. This is from two pieces of 8x8. Eight and I'm going to be doing this size again today but you can ask, also use two pieces of 6x6, six six, two pieces of 12x12 12 12. so no matter what size square you're using the process is exactly the same in the score line so you know if you want to do the tiny one then fine grab that whatever you're making you will be able to follow this tutorial whatever size um, and again this one here so you don't have to undo the ribbon I can just undo it like so and again as you open it the bottom will naturally bend and it creates this really cool tip it all out there box and I've just scored through the base there and I really like it I just think it's really unusual so lots of coins there that isn't what is staying in this one I've actually taken out the gift for the video and just shoved these in so you could get an idea and there you go it just closes up nice and easily you've got a lovely little bag so let's crack on and make it so today is obviously not Christmas themed because it is not going to be Christmas when you see this anymore. So lots of bits here. I just wanted to show you where I've got them from and stuff. So I've done a um, flamingo theme for this gift box here, and I had these lovely little wooden veneers. You got cactus, pum, um, pineapple, and the flamingo, and these are from the range in the UK. Um, 99p for the pack, so perfect. Um, I've always keeping pom poms around and I've just added some little pom poms here and basically I've just got this little it's almost like a little key ring that I'm gonna have hanging and you can see there what I've done um, I've got the little flamingo and then I've just stuck pom poms all around the bottom there and it looks quite nice when it's hanging up against it so I'll be showing you that's that one there I've got some ribbon and I've also got this here because I wasn't sure what I was going to use. So I might have pink ribbon as my handle or I might also use these. I always save these from my gift bags. So that's why I have those styles. Um, the paper pack I'm using today is this first edition's um, Paradise Crush. It's beautiful. I love all the images in this. They're from a very, very talented Louise Tiller. Um, you can follow her on Instagram. Um, she's an amazing illustrator. Um, but again, they're all, you can see some of them are, I've got this slight embossed and they've also got like a shimmer on them and there's all different styles. You've got really lovely cards like canvassy style at the front there. You've got these shimmer ones. Um, again, love that. Love the little budget. In fact, me and my sister, we had a one of each. I had the blue one, my sister had the green, mine was called Molly and hers was called Scampy. Um, so when I saw this it reminded me of my sister. Um, and again there's another lovely embossed one. And then these here at the back are all um, just printed papers double sided. So again loads of beautiful, beautiful, love it. So I'll share all the links for that. So you are going to need, so like I said it's all just um, uh, same size squares. So this is an 8x8. Eight eight. So you need two pieces of 8x8 eight eight card. And you then need four pieces of um, three and three quarter inch squared card. Okay, and I'll talk you through how to make the little triangles um, and the sizes to go in this. So this is what we're going to be forming now. So just grab a piece of your eight by eight and you're going to just score at four inches. And again, rotate and then four inches. So you're just creating this cross here. Okay, and then what you want to do is... I'm just using the thinner end of my stylus. So if you've got a thick and a thinner, depending on what you've used, if you've used the thin and stick with the thin, but you just want to put a little notch at two inches and then a little one at six inches. 
okay? So you can just see there, I've just got two little indents at the top of my card. If you want to use a pencil, you can. Get rid of your scoreboard, you don't need that anymore. And just grab a ruler. And what you want to do is we're going to form two triangles in our card here. So again, from that little indent, you just want to pop your stylus down, line it up with the corner of the bottom right hand side there of that square and then again here you're going to come down to the center point make sure all these lines are perfect you want to make sure you get it right into the center you're getting it right up there so they're joining and again you're getting it right down to that corner that score line there if you're slightly off it will you will notice it when you come to put it all together so again here just score that nicely. This is quite a thick, um, shiny card, so I'm really putting deep score lines into this. Okay, so you can just see there what I've created. Then with the bottom piece here, what you want to do is just score from this corner down to here. So again, I always put my stylus down first, then line the ruler up, and then just bring it all the way down, like so. And then again, pop your ruler down, bring it all the way down, like so. So that is what you want to have. So again, you can freeze frame so you know where you're going. Okay, so now we can just burnish all of our score lines. So first of all, you want to fold the two main ones, so just in half like so. Now these two outer pieces are what are going to be that winged effect on the box so you want to fold these ones up okay just burnish that one and again this one here and then these ones are going to be folded inwards okay so just kind of fold it down there and again fold that one down. And what you can do is as you fold that down now because that one's already burnished Make sure you get that nice, you can fold the two together. This is when you'll know, see I've got a lovely join there, it meets perfectly. If yours is slightly off or it's, it's not, just doesn't lie flat like that, then you need to go back and relook at your score lines. So that's what you should have, okay? Then the bottom ones here, you just want to fold up just loosely. You don't need to burnish them right over. There's just so we can open the box, really, when we, when we come to that point. Okay, so just leave that like that for the minute. Then with these pieces here, so you should have four pieces of three and, what did I say it was? Three and three quarters. Turn it over. And again, the same way, really, but this measurement's slightly different. Whereas we've done the little markers here at two inches, this one here you want to mark at one and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so put a little indent with your stylus or pencil mark and then you're going to do the same thing um, but in pencil. So you just want to draw a line from that marker down to the bottom corner and again there so you're creating a triangle and then you just want to cut that out. So if you want to use your trimmer you can, which is what I did do but I can't be bothered to get it out for the video so I'm just going to freehand cut these ones here and you want to do this for all of your pieces so then you will have obviously four triangles now I've made sure I got the image that I wanted as well within all of those triangles and then basically what we're going to do is stick them into these two top triangles here like so so I'm just going to grab some of my Alina's tacky glue and just you don't need to put loads and loads, but just when you get to the edges, just use your finger there just to get it right up to the point. You don't want to have loads of glue splodging all over the place. Again, just using my finger there to make sure I get it right up to the edges. Ooh. And now I've got it all on my mat, so I have to wipe that in a second. I have got a little thing to brush it all on, but again, I'm being a bit lazy. So make sure I don't get that there. And then just stick it down. And you should have a nice little one inch, very slight little border. One, one inch, sorry, one eighth of an inch. Um, if that really, but it's just a nice little border. So there's that one there. 
And I'm just going to stick this one down. Okay, what I forgot to add, I'd already skipped ahead, but I've edited this bit to add into the video, but I've already stuck this down, which is the next stage. But before you do that stage, you need to cut up this score line here. Okay, so I can't obviously open it out because I've already stuck that down, but basically just make sure you cut up that there. So that would have been joined, that's your bottom bit like so, where we just scored those two. Just cut up that to the center, okay? Now you'll have two pieces like this. Then what we need to do is stick these two bits together like so, okay? So again, I'm just gonna grab my tacky glue and just make sure, really focus on the edges. Like so. Again, just going to use my finger there just to make sure I get it right up to that score line. You need to glue one um, of these sides, like so, and then just stick it together and make sure you get a really nice join on the uh, outside there. Okay. So then, if you turn it over. No, you won't be able to do that yet, sorry, it's on the next stage. You just have to stand there and just hold it all together until that's all stuck down nicely. Okay, so you should now have two pieces like this. So I just edited in at the beginning to make sure you cut first. So obviously when I started sticking this, I still had it joined like so. You just want to make sure you've cut that. So they should now look like this, okay? Now, when your glue's dry, if you just turn it, or if it's still set, and just fold it obviously completely flat, and you can just make sure you can just spread your bone tool over there as well, make sure it's all stuck down nicely. What you want to do is cut, so let me just do this first and then I can tell you it's about a quarter of an inch, yeah, okay, quarter of an inch then, you just want to leave this, this bit here and the reason I cut it off is because it gives you that room then inside the gift box because when that comes over like so that's what it's going to be. If you had all that hanging down you just you wouldn't really get much in this so that's obviously for that reason so again just going to cut that one there just eyeballing it but it's a quarter of an inch okay like so so you can see now how it's all going to start coming together so now what you need to do is grab this one here and I'm going to put wet glue again focusing on the outer parts here all over I'm going to just use my finger to make sure I get it all spread out on the corners okay and then you're going to put this one over the top let's get it all lined up and then lay it down okay and again grab your bone tool so you can get it right in to the corner there. Just make sure that glue gets spread out. Repeat the same on this next piece. So again on this one, get into the bottom of my glue now. Okay, so you should now have your two pieces like this and then just decide what one you want to put on top. It doesn't really matter. But again you are going to then, so this one's going to go on top of here. So I'm going to turn this over and put all the glue on the bottom of this one so again make sure get right into those corners okay so again just spreading it out so it gets right up to the edge and then you just want to make sure you've got that point hover it over the top first until you get it right up there like so and then sit it down and just kind of leave it there for a minute just to kind of initially stick I'm just getting this glue all off my hands and then what you can do is just grab your ruler keeping it closed still and just feed it through and just keep it pushed down you don't want to open it too much as soon as you open it you're going to pull it apart so just focus really on this kind of middle bit for the minute until that's you're happy that's stuck and then we can slowly kind of open it and make sure it's all stuck down so now what I can do is just ever so slightly just kind of prise that open just get my finger in there and I can just push it down and I'm happy there that that's all sticking into place. So now you might want to just keep it as a gift box. You may just want to put maybe a little, um, what could you, else could you put there? I guess you could put a little bulldog clip. Um, you could put 
hole punch, we're going to hole punch anyway, but you could hole punch two bits and obviously do the ribbon, so you could do it up like this. So let's have a play around, because I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this one. So I'm just grabbing my hole punch, and just bring it in there as far as it will go, just so it's kind of roughly lining up there with the middle. And again, do this one here, it's about the same. Again, measure it if you're not sure, I've just eyeballed that there, you can see. So now I can try using that white. So just thread this one through, like so. That's really sweet, because then I've also got my little thing here, which I forgot, which is gonna hang just down from one of the sides there. It's just a nice little accessory really for it. Or do I go for the pink? Let's try the pink as well. I've just added the pink there. I think I actually prefer the pink. And then I've just attached this in the centre. I've changed it a little bit. Just so I've got that like, little key ring hanging off of it there as well. I might add a little bit more bling to it as well actually. But there you have it. So then you would just open that up. And as you open it, it reveals everything inside. Voila. So I hope you like this very unusual winged triangle gift box <laughs> I said not entirely sure what else to call it but yeah there you go bit different bit odd which is what I like making so I hope you enjoyed this one please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye